Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm staying in a Premier Inn, but it's not just any Premier Inn. I'm about to stay in a hub by Premier Inn. Now, these are exclusive to London and Edinburgh. There's only a couple in Edinburgh and the rest are actually in London. They're designed to be small, very tech savvy. I'm rather excited to stay here. It's got over 2,000 excellent reviews on TripAdvisor. Each room includes a slick touchscreen control panel, completely free, super fast Wi-Fi, smart TVs, relaxing beds, and this is interesting, high-powered monsoon showers. I'm excited, let's go and check it out. So it's yards away from King's Cross Station. And when you see this hotel, you'll be pretty impressed, as I am. Let's head in. I've already checked in. Straight away you get this big map of where you are and places to go and visit and where you can go and get a bike, that kind of stuff, which is pretty good. They've also got a bar here too, which is pretty snazzy. They do uh, breakfast in here as well. So I'm on the first floor. My room number is 1031. Let's see, first floor. <laughs> wow, look at the lifts. How cool is that? I've never seen a TV in a lift. So I think I must be this way. One thing you'll notice is on each of the doors, you've got these, what look like LED screens. They're not, they just show you the room number, but also whether you want your room made up or do not disturb. So instead of having those things hanging down from the door, it's all digital. Love the carpet, really funky. I mean, I really like the design of the hotel, even the little small things where all these pictures are lit up as well. So futuristic how they've done the numbers on the sides of the doors rather than on the doors themselves. How many Premier Inns have bells? Listen. <laughs> okay, right, let's go in. So it's gonna be a small room. I've gone for the standard room. Wow. Look at this. It's still a huge bed as well. I guess you would think similar to a, a capsule hotel, but a bit more roomy. It feels like there's loads of tech in here. Huge TV, which is nice. There's my remote. What's this? Let's spend the night together. Warm and cozy, 13.5 TOG. So they don't make the beds up. You've got a, well, you're not really making it up, are you? Looks pretty comfy. We'll do the uh, the bed test in a moment. Two big pillows. This is the display I was talking about outside, so you can control the lights. Oh look, <laughs> I've turned them off. You can turn them brighter or lower. Oh, bed lights. And this is where you can hit do not make room up. So that will appear outside and do not disturb. What's that, reading light? Oh, nice. So that kind of brings the lights down in the room and just has lights over the bed. We'll be playing around with this for ages. Right, let's bring the lights up full everywhere. Here I've got my air conditioning as well so I can select the temperature, how warm I want it, fan on or fan medium. That is so much fun. I've got some plug sockets there by the bed. Nice little view over King's Cross. Complimentary water, that's nice. Take me on yours. And being in London, they're very savvy to the European traveler because they've got European charging there as well as British. This is a bit odd. So this is kind of like a little mini workstation. You bring your chair in and I guess you could sit there with your laptop. This moves. Oh, there you go. So you can have it like that or you can pull it out. In fact, if I move that chair, that'll go. Yeah, look at that. And now I've got my workstation. Floor to ceiling blind. So even 
during the day if I want to get some shut eye that'll make it completely dark in here. Just reading this on the screen tells you about how you can get to your Wi-Fi. It says peckish. Our take to room service means exactly that. Simply order from the bar, pick it up and enjoy from the comfort of your own room. Obviously, if you're staying more than one night, you just need to tell them that you want your room to be clean. Look at that on the TV. They even do a wake up call for you as well. There's even loads of movies to watch. Do I have to pay for these? But I'm absolutely loving this at the minute. This is well nice. I'm gonna take it, that's storage. When it comes to storing things though, by the side of your bed, I guess there's like a, a little lip up there. But I think you probably have to kind of put it over here. It's a shame there's like, not like a little mini table, but I guess you would hit your head on that. I've got storage for my clothes here, but at least it's kind of covered up by a full length mirror. Extra pegs there, I like that. If you do want to open a beer, you've got that on the wall. And a hairdryer. See, that's where your air conditioning is. So let's check out the bathroom. This is this monsoon shower they were talking about. It looks pretty big. And you've got two showers there to get your nether regions if you need to. And I've noticed this with Premier Inns now. They've, they've changed their shower gels and it's Bayless and Harding. White tea and something else. Some more complimentary shower gel, some nice fluffy white towels. And I love this sink, look at that. How it just sits on the worktop here. What looks like marble, obviously it's not marble, but really love the lights that go down the side of the mirror as well. Oh, that's where the bin is. Some extra loo roll. And of course, frosted glass. If you're here with somebody else. All right, shoes off for the bed test. Oh, this is nice. Nice and comfy. I'm surprised this is a standard room, but the beds are more than big enough for two people and obviously one person to stretch right out. You can get slightly bigger rooms so you can actually walk around the bed, but I don't know, I really like the cozy feel to this room. And I like the fact how the TV is perfectly central to your bed. So you can sit here and watch a movie. And if you need the loo, you don't exactly have far to go. There you go, bed made. Do you know what, it's a shame there's not more of these around the country. So if you do want to come to one of these hub rooms, they're only in London and there's a couple in Edinburgh. This isn't sponsored by Premier Inn Hub, by the way. You guys asked me to come and check them out, so I did. By the way, if you want me to check out some other budget hotels, do tell me in the comments, give the video a thumbs up. And if you like Premier Inn and you want to know what the Premier Inn Plus rooms are like, click the video here. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.